You're drawing too much attention to yourself. You should never show your face to people. You are my family curse. My father shouted at me. I am Elena, and as my father said, I'm too beautiful, which creates a lot of problems for the family. It brings losses and nothing more. Since childhood, I have been distinguished from other children by my special beauty. My face attracted attention like a magnet. Once, when people crowded around my stroller to take a closer look, my father's wallet was stolen with almost his entire salary. He was just beside himself with anger. Dad always said that my mother caused him the same problems, so she ran away and left me with him, and now he has to pay for their daughter. Oh God, forgive my sins and this child. She was born such a sinner. My father always said, calling out to heaven. He handed me a mask and glasses every day and ordered me to walk without taking them off, and made me constantly pray in order to atone for my sins of appearance. So I did, sincerely believing that I brought only trouble. One day I decided to skip church service simply because I saw free cupcake baking classes at the bakery. I wondered what they would do there. I immediately called my new friend, May, who I'd just met, to come with me. We baked cupcakes together and laughed. Doesn't my mask and glasses bother you? No, what's wrong with that? It's fun with you. Her laugh was contagious. Time passed unnoticed when suddenly I looked out the window and saw my angry father standing there. Dad punished me back at home, making me pray for several hours in a row on my knees. It was terrible. Dad prayed very loudly, asking God to forgive him for his naughty daughter. All my troubles come from you. Even wearing a mask, you managed to succumb to temptation and be the center of attention, he yelled. He then added that now our family was waiting for punishment, and God didn't make us wait long. Not long after, people came to kick us out of the house. I didn't understand why, because we did pay our bills. We had nowhere to go, so the church sheltered us. My dad was well known there, and so was I. One day I packed our things and went down to the laundromat, but on the way I ran into someone. Oh my god, he was such a handsome guy. He was there with his laundry too. We smiled at each other, and then I realized I wasn't wearing my mask and glasses. Oh no! The guy helped me up as I fell, and then he said, you're so beautiful. I'm Dylan. What's your name? Me? I... My name is Mil... Milena, what are you doing here? Where is your mask? Dad screamed and kicked the guy away and handed me my mask. What did I tell you about your face? Don't show it to anyone until you've been forgiven for your sins. Why, God, why? I covered my face in tears and my father left for church. He ordered me to finish the laundry and I saw May at the laundromat. What are you doing here? Is your father jealous of your beauty? I saw what happened outside. No, what are you? It's just, I'm cursed, that's all. How is your beautiful face related to a curse? Well, because of me, people steal money from my dad. They recently kicked us out of the house. Do you really think it's about you? Really, it is. Every time I get attention, something bad happens to my father. Can't this be disproven? How? May grabbed my hand and quickly ran. We ended up in the church hall where the service was still going on. She pushed me out there and took off my mask, and people froze. Everyone began to whisper about my beauty, and one woman said, What a beautiful child! She's like an angel! Among the crowd, I saw my father's angry face. That night, he locked me in my bedroom until late in the evening. Through the door, I yelled at May, blaming her for everything. I just want to prove that it's not about you, Milena, she said. How do you know, and how did you know where we go to church? Who are you? She didn't answer. That evening, Dad told me to go and pray, ask for forgiveness for my misdeeds. While praying, I made an important decision that would change my life once and for all. The next day, I was already sitting in the office of a plastic surgeon, asking him to make me ugly. At first he laughed, but then he agreed to do it for free, considering my offer interesting. I had already entered the operating room when May came in. Let's go, she said. What? Why are you here? Faster, faster, I'll prove that you're not cursed. So she grabbed my arm and pulled me out of there by force. We then went to a strange private club. I went downstairs with May and saw my father sitting at a computer making online bets in the casino. What? Your father is a gambler. There's nothing to do with your face and a curse. He just squanders everything he earns. How did you know all this? Who are you anyway, May? 
I'm the priest's daughter. My father knew everything for a long time. I made him tell me before you could do something to harm yourself. So that's how the truth came out. I am not cursed. After saying goodbye to the mask, we talked to my father and the priest. Dad was ashamed and he apologized, promising to quit with the gambling. Well, and that guy Dylan? We began to talk again, and everything seems to be fine. Hello, everyone. My name is Yasu, and I am from Taiwan. I conquered TikTok in just a few months, gained a lot of subscribers for myself, and worked in this way. But one day, a wave of hate hit me. During the night, I lost about 700,000 subscribers and came down with a temperature of 39.5. Are you wondering how I lost everything? Then keep listening. That morning, a girl became attached to me. She shoved me local sweets and asked me to buy them. But I, angry, hit her a box and her sweets fell on the road. A car ran over them and crushed them. The video went viral and a wave of hatred erupted. It turned out that that kid is an orphan and she survives at the expense of such a bis- Damn, my attempts to apologize or somehow bribe her were already useless. My crisis manager advised me to lay low temporarily and then make a big, kind gesture. For example, charity to an unfamiliar, poor family. Fortunately, he quickly found one. I arrived with bags full of groceries and knocked on their door. UA's manager stood behind the camera and filmed. A few minutes later, the door finally was opened. It was a guy about my age with a cap on his head. I said hello and he immediately slammed the door and then opened it and told me to go away. I put my foot out to keep the door open and repeated that this was charity. I know who you are. You want to restore your reputation, don't you, you TikToker? It won't work at our expense. I am not for sale. Just wait. Remove your leg, otherwise you'll get hurt. Suddenly, someone called him in a weak voice. He pushed me and closed the door. Suddenly, it opened again and a wheelchair came out. Wow, it must have been a sick mother. She looked so weak and exhausted. The guy rolled out the wheelchair and they went along the street. Look, the wheel on her wheelchair is broken. They can't even drive properly. Are you thinking the same thing as me? It's all meant to be. We bought her a new stroller and brought it for her the next day. The guy in the cab asked me to leave again, but even worse, my anti-fans filmed it and another wave of hate swept TikTok. Yue then learned that our subject's mother was ill and needed an expensive operation to remove a spinal hernia that left her unable to walk. Then I went broke, offering that guy to pay for the operation in exchange for a joint tick. After three days, a short, I agree, inspired me. It turned out that his mother was in the hospital. She had gotten worse. Arriving at the hospital, I gave the cash over and his mother was taken to intensive care. We had a nice chat for several hours, and when the doctor came out, he said that everything was fine with his mother. We exhaled and were told that she would sleep there until the morning. Hungry? Yeah, a little bit. Let's go make some new jumi. We arrived at the old Tao house. I didn't know then that I would find something very valuable. Inside it, it was nice, despite the dilapidation. Tao went to the kitchen. My attention was drawn to a childhood photo of one mega popular TikToker three years. Weird. Where did he get that from? He doesn't seem like someone who likes TikTok. Tao then entered the room and brought soup on a tray. I ate and immediately felt good inside. Then I asked him where he got the TikToker photo from. Tao ate and joked that he stole the thing. I didn't believe him and asked him to sell it to me, but he said that he could not and would not sell it. That girl made millions. Nobody knew why he disappeared. He sold the account and hasn't been seen since. The star only showed his photo of himself as a child once. Everyone remembered his mole under his eyebrow. And then my heart skipped a beat. I carefully removed his cap and saw a mole under Tao's eyebrow. Oh no, it can't be. I bombarded him with questions. Where did you go? Why did you stop filming? Was it because of your mom? What happened? But Tao remained silent, and then he suggested that I save my account through the story of my help for his family. We shot several videos, and it got a lot of likes and approval. The number of subscribers has recovered and even increased. Tao thanked me, and then our paths diverged, but that didn't make me any happier. One day I went back to his house to visit his mother. 
We had a nice walk, but then I got a hysterical call from Yu Wei. Someone dug up about Tao. His mother was recognized, and a video appeared where you go to the hospital with her. Now everyone believes that your help was fake so Tao could appear on TikTok again. My manager yelled. Then Tao went into the house. He accused me of leaking information, and now people hung out near his house and wouldn't give him a rest. It was not true, but he wouldn't listen. He threw the baby photo at me and said, Here is the payment for the operation. You can sell the original. Count on that. Only later did I find out that his mother got sick because of her son's TikTok. He was too busy to pay attention to her complaints about her back until she could no longer walk. Tao then abandoned TikTok and began to fully look after his sick mother. He sold everything to pay for her long-term treatment. However, this didn't help, and they had no money to pay for the operation. So you really did a good deed. It's a pity that everyone on the network distorted it in their own way. I don't care what they say about me online. What are you talking about? You have to save your account. If my subscribers are only people who want to gloat and gossip, I don't need them. So I sold my accounts on social networks. With the proceeds, I bought a rehabilitation center for Tao's mother. He came to me himself, asking why I did that for him. But I only wanted to do the right thing and returned his photo. Do you think I did the right thing? Let me know.